hey, so you're looking at how to customize your Amazon Fire tablet so it suits you a bit better. The good thing about an Amazon Fire tablet is that it's affordable and it can do most things you probably want it to do. The only downgrade is the Fire OS that's pre-installed on it. So today I'm going to show you how to get your Amazon Fire tablet looking something similar to this. You'll be able to add your own launcher such as Nova Launcher or Launcher for example. You can remove Alexa and install the Google Assistant. You can remove Amazon Analytics, change your wallpaper and even install the Google Play Store. first thing we want to do is go to this URL on the XTA forums. There's this tool made by Datastream33 called the Amazon Fire Toolbox. Without this tool, it'd be a bit more tricky to customize your Fire tablet. This person has made it so convenient to do. So if you want to show your support, please give them a thanks or even donate a little bit to them. So what we want to do is to actually download this tool. Currently, the latest version is 7.1. So I'm going to download this version. Right, while this is downloading, what we want to do is to go onto our Fire Tablet. And on our Fire Tablet, we want to swipe down from the top, showing the notifications. Do it one more time and click the gear icon on the bottom right. At the very bottom, we want to go to Device Options, then tap About Fire Tablet, then tap the serial number several times, just like this. Nice, go back. And we'll see we have enabled developer options. We want to go into here, turn these on, press OK, scroll down and enable USB debugging. This will allow the application we're downloading to manage things on the Fire tablet so we can change system settings and install applications. Nice. Now that that's done, I'm going to plug it into the computer. You'll get a pop-up saying allow USB debugging, press OK. And as you can see in the notification here, it says USB debugging connected. That's what we want to see. Now back on the computer, we can see the file has downloaded. So I'm going to launch this. This might pop up when you launch the application. It's because the publisher is unknown, but all you have to do is click more info and press run anyway. Install for me only, select your language. I'm going to change my location, but you can install this anywhere you'd like. Hit next, create a desktop shortcut so it's easy to find. Next and install. Perfect, now that this is installed, we can actually launch the application. I'm gonna close out of the welcome pop-up. And here you have the application. It can be any simpler. So you can see here all the features you can do. You can tap the arrow down here. It'll go to the next page showing you some other things you can do. I'm going to run you through what I'm going to do to my tablet, but you can change any of these settings you would like. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Manage Everything Amazon. And I'm going to Disable Everything Amazon. This should remove some analytics and just all the unnecessary software Amazon's installed on there. Here we have a pop-up asking if I want to install Nova Launcher and SwiftKey. I'm going to press yes. Brilliant, now on my device, that Swift key should have popped up. So I'm going to unlock it and go through the process of installing Swift key. So I want to enable Swift key. Okay. Selected, tap the get better predictions and press not now. Awesome, so now our default keyboard is actually Swift key and not Amazon's default keyboard. Also, you can see on the tablet now, Nova Launcher is actually installed. We've got a few more things to do before we can play around with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is install the Google services. So tap that and click yes. This will install the Play Store and all the required Google services too.
On your tablet, you can actually see the Play Store is now installed. You'll need to sign in the first time you use this. So I've actually already launched the Play Store and signed in. And as you can see, the Play Store is installed and you can download and install anything you'd like. And that concludes the tutorial for today. Please play around with the settings and make it your own. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and I'll make some more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.